Okay, hoes, we back, we back again, again. I've been recording for so long and I have no regrets. Um, let's just, let's go back. I'm sorry to interrupt right when you're about to deliver the final tearjerker, but it's just taking so long, long, long I'm about to fall asleep over here. I mean, do you really think you have any idea what Sakura was actually thinking when she died? What did you say? Hmm. Everything you just said is nothing but your interpretation, right? Your own opinion on what her suicide note meant. Of course I know what she was thinking, because her and me... In other words... Well, what I'm really trying to say is, don't you think the entire foundation is shaky? What if it was really like this? What the heck? What is that? Of course! Isn't it obvious? Yep. A suicide note. Sakura's suicide note. What, but he already... Oh, I wrote that one. It was all me, baby. <laughs> this one is Sakura addressed to Hina and put in her room. What then? You lied to me? Oh, don't say a lie. It makes it sound so dirty. I just thought I'd liven things up a bit. I can't help it if you <laughs> totally took my little scribble at face value. It didn't even have Sakura's signature on it. You filthy little... I'm not filthy. I didn't do anything. Did I falsify evidence? Did I affect the outcome of the class trial? The case played out between you and you alone. You were the ones jerking each other around. Heck, even if I would had factored in, it still would have been between you guys. So what's the problem? This is all part of the production process. Okay, and scene. Mm -hmm. Cut. So then what did she write in her real suicide note? What are you gonna do? Um, he's gonna read it aloud. But did you know, haven't you ever been curious about the whole suicide note thing? Who came up with the idea of leaving a note when you kill yourself in the first place? And isn't it so unfortunate? Killing yourself is just so final, you know? You can never hear the rest of the story. The truth is lost in darkness. Give me the w gives me the woes. Could you get on with it, please? Yes, indeed. Uh, talk about a buzzkill. Here we go. My good friend, good friend Hina, there's something I have to tell you. I hate to do it like this, but you need to know. This is my final wish. As you know. I've been giving information to the one who's imprisoned you here. It was our first night in this strange school that the Mastermind came see, to see me. The Mastermind took control of my family's dojo and demanded I become their tool. You might not see the importance of a dojo, but my family has watched over it for over 300 years. let it be destroyed under my watch. So even if it meant my own life, I had to protect it. That's how I saw things. However, that was my greatest weakness, and because of that, I made the mistake of giving in to the mastermind. What the mastermind wanted from me was nothing less than murder. They were probably worried about that until the first murder had happened. Nothing would move forward. But what neither the mastermind nor I expected was, at that point, the plan changed. Somebody else would do it. The mastermind told me to hold off, to wait until we reached another stalemate. However, as I lived here with all of you, as I lived here with Hina, my resolve began to weaken. Watching everyone fight with such despair, trying so desperately to stay alive. I saw the weakness in my own heart, the mistake of succumbing to the mastermind. And more than I anything... betray those who would call me their friend. That's how I came to feel. So that's why Sakura... I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. <laughs> of course, because of that, I decided to reveal her secret, which made everyone else hate her. Her decision to stay true to all of you led directly to all of you hating her for it. <laughs> ironic, isn't it? Or maybe oxymoronic. I'm just, or just moronic. Of course, I understand if you all hate me. All of this is because of my own weakness. I'm perfectly willing to accept whatever attack you may want to make so on me. this is my atonement for betraying you. That's what I had in mind. But unfortunately, that's not enough. This won't end with just me accepting your hatred. My own situation has started having an effect on more people than just me, which is exactly what the Mastermind wanted when they revealed my betrayal. My betrayal brought suspicion, disharmony. The Mastermind knew that eventually it would escalate into someone murdering someone else. Of course, I'm still responsible for that as well. I have an obligation to get this situation under control. And to fulfill that obligation, I've decided to do as the Mastermind has commanded. I will do as I th I was told and commit murder. I've decided the one I'm going to kill is myself. 
If the mastermind demands that I kill someone, then that someone will be me. Then my dojo will be safe, and above all else, none of you will have to kill anyone. When I die, the source of conflict among you all dies with me. For that, I'm willing to give if up my it life. save you, then sacrificing my own life could have no greater meaning. Whatever you think of me, please know that you are all my most treasured friends. I've never had people like you in my life. Huh? Then Sakura didn't feel cornered. She didn't die hating us. She wanted to stop us from fighting to protect us. She didn't end her own life because she was weak. Quite the opposite, in fact. She was strong. Too strong. That's why she killed herself. She chose death for herself in order to protect the rest of us. To sacrifice so much, no normal person could do that. However, It was only her limitless strength that made it possible. Finally, Hina... I want to apologize to you especially. The reason I didn't tell you any of this is because I knew you would try to stop me. I'm really, truly sorry, but please don't be sad. I can thwart the Mastermind's plans if I can keep you from killing each other. That's enough for me. This is the path I have chosen. This is the only way I have left to distinguish myself. And you can use this note to bring the class trial to a quick end. I'm so sorry to ask you to do something so unpleasant, but I have to leave the rest to you. Please talk to Byakua, Toko, and Hiro on my behalf. I can't tell anyone about my plan while I'm alive, but I wanted you to understand why I'm doing this. In the end, though, I hope to show myself through actions and not I words. I never saw you as my enemy. You were only ever my friend, who I wanted to help as much as possible. Hina, whatever it takes, survive. Survive along with everyone else. No matter what, just survive. This is... I didn't understand how she felt, not at all. I thought we were close and still. All her meddling was like totally pointless. She died so you guys wouldn't try to kill each other, but you almost ended up doing it anyway. Thanks to you, her death had no purpose at all. In fact, it was because of her stupid meddling that the rest of you nearly bit the big one. She deserves all the blame. Everyone blame her. Go ahead. She deserves it. Now then, the next victim has been decided. What do you mean, next victim? Nobody here blames anyone. First of all, you're in the wrong for tricking Hina with that fake suicide note. And plus, Sakura's death wasn't a waste. Because she made us remember, we're not enemies that hate each other. We're friends who need to work together. Dang straight. This is all because of our misplaced hatred. I don't blame her. I can't blame her. And nobody can blame Hina either. Whether or not there was a spy never really mattered, because the one we need to destroy is you, nobody else. What? What, do you want? what the heck? That's not how this is supposed to go. But anyway, are you sure about that? This killing game is a competition between all of you, remember? Hey. Your enemy is each other. He's absolutely right about that. Yeah. Ah, lovely Byakua. Byakua, I don't know. You understand, don't you? This is a life or death elimination match. The only way to survive is to win. There can be no doubt that those are the rules of the game. Hmm. Which is why I am bowing out of the game. Naturally. Sakura and Hino were both willing to sacrifice their own lives to deny the reality of the game. Thanks to them, it would appear the others have cast aside their fear for this game. There's no point in participating in a game which has lost that sense of excitement. Which is why I will no longer be participating in it. What's going on here? Now I have only one thing to look forward to. And that is the heap of the harshest possible punishment onto the one who thinks they can control me. Byakua, does this mean? Don't misunderstand. I haven't been moved by some thoughtless sentimentalism, if that's what you're thinking. Wherever Master goes, I go, and if the Mastermind turns out to be my guy, maybe I can catch on fire. Everyone? Hey. Well, now that you say Sakura's death had no meaning... How boring. But nothing good could come of this. I'm still gonna be the one having the fun time. What the heck? The fun time? Hmm. Um... Anyway, let's forget about that good-for-nothing backstabber and get back on track. Punish you guys? It's punishment time. Who are we killing? Wait, who are we killing? <laughs> so is it Sakura technically the killer, right? And she's dead? You're not gonna... What? Is it me? Wrong. All heavens no. Just because the blackened is dead doesn't mean I can't just sub in whatever old student I want. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I'm very particular about the bear times one rule. <laughs> but I spent so much time preparing my special punishment I didn't want it to go to waste. So, for my special punishment, I prepared a special guest. A special guest? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Who are we killing? Uh-oh. 
No. It was their only hope they had left. You! Oh no! You suck, man! You turned him into a mangled hunk of junk! That really took it out of me. Maybe I'll go grill up a plate of chicken. After all, they say a post-workout grill up chicken's where it's at. I'm all about that grilled goodness. Fried, broiled? Give me a break. The color, the smell, the succulents grilled is where it's at. No. I realize how dangerous it could be, but still, I have to do this. I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You may think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So it's okay. It's for the sake of everyone else. I won't be afraid. Alter Ego's words raced through my heart and soul. My disbelief gave way to raw anger. The anger turned to fury, black and muddy and boiling over. It bubbled up through my body, quickly overflowing and shooting out of my mouth. How dare you? That was my friend. How dare you kill him? Huh? You were friends with a laptop? That's pretty pathetic. What's next? Friends with a basketball? Shut the all up, uh. He wasn't just a laptop. He was my friend. And you killed him. Hmm. Is this what you call animism? What? Where our soul dwells within all things. Even like laptops. Well, you can call it whatever you want. Hmm. Bottom line is, it got in my way. It was trying to find things all sneaky sneaky. Just as I thought. So you finally noticed him. Actually. Finally? No. No, no. I knew about it from the very beginning. I knew Chihiro was doing something with the laptop. And I knew you were using it to analyze data. I knew exactly how it was all going to play out from the start. What? What are you thinking? You knew and you were still cocky enough to let us take the plunge? Yeah. Well, I mean the date on the laptop. It was, I guess you could call it a gift from me to you. Yeah. Or maybe more like a reward in honor of you being able to unlock something so difficult. Hey, um, so, of course, I didn't care if you get access to that. But sneaking into the network was just too personal. So I had to do a little, you know, reformatting. I want to be able to help. I want to work as hard as everyone else. That's so sad. Alter Ego wanted to fight for us. He wanted to help at the risk of his own life, and for that, he was killed. Yeah, the punishment has made me feel a billion times better. Experiencing a meaningless death is so soothing. It makes me remember that every low can get even lower. No, his death wasn't meaningless either. Everyone who's died so far, the deaths of each and every one of our friends, they all make us stronger. I swear, someday you will pay for this. Holy moly, you're super mad, like just unreasonably upset. Okay, time to bring things to a close. Oh, but before that, I need to read the postscript. Postscript? Yeah. yeah, there's still a bit left of Sakura's note. <laughs> Do I have your attention? Okay, here we go. One other thing, Hina. There's something I'd like to tell the others. Hopefully we'll act as a clue to help you unravel the mystery of this school. What a clue? Hina. I've spoken with the mastermind off and on the whole time I've been here, and so I've learned one thing, which is the mastermind has done something to us. I think what they've done yeah. is... Another word, and I would have been hip deep in spoiler territory. I don't want to ruin the surprise, so book club is dismissed for today. What? You can't just stop at the most important bit? It makes your run brain rumble and tumble, huh? It makes you so mad you don't freaking know, huh? That's the whole point, stupid. It's to get back at all you for your hardening resolve. Fine, but at least soccer is no. Like I'd ever let you greaseballs have it. But. Sucks for you, loser. Wait, what's this? What? What, what? There's one last line in the note. And let me just say this to the mastermind. I'm not just going to lay down and die. I will fight you, no matter what, and that's seriously it. Hmm? Wow, what a stubborn loser, huh? She won't lay down and die, she'll fight you? Hmm? Well, whatever, who cares about some dead muscle head has to say? Well, okay, I'm out of here. Hmm. You guys should try to get some rest, you know, and maybe take some time to reconsider how you approach this school life of yours. 
And you sure you don't want to graduate? Can you really cut free from the regrets of the outside world? Think about that. Think long and hard. Those were his parting words to us before disappearing. But what was all that about? Sakura's final message, her last clue to help us solve the mystery of the school. The mastermind did something to us? Kyoko said something like that before, didn't she? It was after Celeste's trial was over. You. What did you do? What did you do to my body? Ooh. Hey. Answer me. What do you do to my body? The mastermind did something to our bodies? What are they saying the mastermind did? What did the mastermind do to us? I mean, did the mastermind plant a bomb in us or something? And if we leave, try to leave the school, a sensor goes off and the bomb explodes? I've seen stuff like that in movies and comics and stuff, but it's not totally unheard of. No, I feel awful just thinking about it. I can't afford to acknowledge thoughts like that. Yo. So the class trial is over and Monokum is gone. So now what do we yes. do? What else is there other than head back up? Um. Let's get out of here. But I, um... Hina must still feel responsible. Hm. Hmph. Dial back that ego a bit, girl. That kind of mystery someone like you could pose is absolutely no threat. I would never have lost to that kind of challenge. Mm. What are you talking about? Kyoko and Makoto are the ones that figured everything out. <laughs> Shut up. Seriously, I'm sorry. Hmm. How many times do you plan to apologize? How about you make that last one? The last one. I haven't reached a point where I need someone apologizing to me more than once. Sorry. Okay, I see what you mean. Then I'll try. <laughs> that totally wasn't normal, right? Did she just capture his flag? No, 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 no. I cannot suffer the existence of someone who would disturb the romance between me and Master. <laughs> What are you talking about? That's absolutely not what's happening here. Why would I ever go for a sleazeball like him? Sleazeball? What the heck? That's right, I called you a sleazeball because you are a sleazeball. Apparently, you still have a death wish. Oh, more biting sarcasm. No wonder you don't have any friends. No, 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 no. Hey, stop fighting with Master. You're making me jealous. I want the abuse, give and take. Me. I guess it's not so easy for everyone to act like friends. Well, that's just how it is for now. And so, Sakura's class trial came to an end, and we returned to the world of Hope's Peak Academy. But the story wasn't even close to over. Time kept marching on, and we all went back to our rooms, and before, before long, night snuck up on us. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm just sad. Nighttime descended and pulled me down along with it into sleep. I couldn't remember the last time I'd fallen into such a deep sleep, but the night still wasn't over for me. A voice. I could hear a voice. Wah. He. Wake up. Huh? The voice dragged me from deep slumber into hazy half consciousness. My eyelids were like lead. Oh! Hello. Kyoko? Yes, it's me. Huh? Kyoko? I said yes. So Kyoko's here. Wait, what? In a flash, I was wide awake. What are you doing here? True. I'm here to wake you up. Oh, I see. But wait, my door. It was unlocked. You're unbelievably careless. It was unlocked? Are you serious? Always. And you don't have to overact like that every time you're surprised. What time is it? Correct. Three o'clock in the morning, of course. It's 3 a.m.? Why was Kyoko waking me up at this hour? It's so late, what happened? Matoda. I have a favor I need to ask. Yes, she does. And I'm gonna leave this episode off here. This will be an extra episode that y'all get for like the closing of the trial. I can see myself, hello. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. You're all amazing, I love you. Drink water.